Hey Psych2Goers, welcome back to another video. Before we start, we would like to thank you all for the support that you've given us. Psych2Go's mission is to make psychology and mental health more accessible to everyone, and you help us do that, so thank you. Now, back to the video. Have you ever gone through a period of time where you felt sad and alone all the time? Even when you're around friends or family, somehow you still feel detached from them and the world. Maybe you don't want to talk about it, but you find that expressing how you feel can make you feel better. And if nothing else, it can make those around you going through the same thing feel less alone. So here is an open letter to anyone who's ever felt lost and alone in the world. If you've ever felt like you were too different from the people around you to ever fit in, or felt unseen, unheard, or misunderstood for too many times to count, or felt like nothing you said or did mattered because no one seemed to care about you, Know that you're not alone and we're here for you. Do you feel like you're insignificant to everyone around you and isolated from all the people you love? Do you find it hard to keep hanging on day by day? I know it's not easy and that it may be the last thing you wanna hear right now, but believe me, there is hope that better days are waiting for you. Although I can't promise that it's gonna come really soon, that it's gonna be easy or that it'll stay that way once you get there, I can tell you with absolute certainty that it is going to be worth it. I know it's hard to believe, especially if you're in the dark place right now, but you aren't alone and there are people out there that you can reach out to. Some days it may feel impossible to listen to anything but the loneliness, grief, and fear that's haunting you, but letting yourself be happy doesn't mean lying to yourself about how you feel. You don't have to fight all the bad things you feel or pretend like they aren't there because you have the power to decide if it's really worth caring more about than the things that make you happy. Whether it's simply being able to get out of bed, take a shower, or make it through a meal without crying, happiness can be found even in the tiniest everyday things. Maybe a stranger smiled at you or held the door open for you. Maybe you had a nice nap or played with your pet. Whatever happiness comes to mean for you, as long as you open your heart to the possibility, you'll find that there are actually dozens and dozens of little ways you can help yourself get better. Life probably didn't turn out how you dreamed it would. Have things not gone the way you planned? Are you still not where you thought you would be after all this time? Let go. Let go of all the things you think your life should or ought to be, and instead, embrace the things you have right now, here, at this moment. You have come so far and done so much, and you're not even anywhere near stopping. You're going to go on and do so many amazing things and meet plenty of wonderful new people. But the most remarkable thing you're ever going to do in life is to let yourself be happy and not let this sadness define the rest of your life. It's easier said than done, but everyone's gotta start somewhere, right? This could be the beginning of a brand new chapter for you. This could be the very first day of the rest of your life. Let go of the hurt, the anger, the fear you feel. Refuse to entertain your own self-doubt and negativity. The amount of energy it takes to keep holding on to the past may be what's keeping you from moving forward and making a better life for yourself. It's time. It's time to let your old wounds heal and bring love back into your world. We hope this video helped you and reminded you that you're worthy and you're not alone. If you found it helpful, remember to like and share it with someone who might be feeling lost and alone as well. Hit the subscribe button and notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. Hello, my name is Nayoung, and I want to say hi. Recently, we started a Korean YouTube channel, and just to want to let you guys know, we are doing our best to make our content accessible around the world, especially parts of the world where mental health awareness is not yet well established. To check out our channel and share it with other Korean friends.